Welcome to the Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm. This is the story of extraordinary lives and a small rural village. In 1823, 31-year-old Elijah Taylor loaded up the wagons and brought his 60 family members on a journey from upstate New York to the territory of Michigan. Today, we can drive that distance in about seven hours. But by horse and buggy, the Erie Canal, and steamship, it took three months. When they arrived, they purchased 160 acres of land from the U.S. government and founded a log cabin community that they named Stony Creek Village. Within 30 years, Stony Creek Village had grown to become one of the largest communities in Oakland County, boasting three mills, a tavern, Baptist church, post office, and blacksmith shop. In 1872, the first railroad was built through Rochester, bypassing Stony Creek. The townspeople were devastated because just two miles away, Rochester flourished while Stony Creek grew very little. This 19th century village would remain virtually unchanged. So today, many of the original homes and buildings still stand in their original state as reminders of the Taylor legacy. This farmhouse was built in 1840 by the Taylor family. In 1854, Sarah Taylor married her childhood sweetheart, Joshua Van Hoosen. He was a 49er who had spent the past few years prospecting for gold in the hills of Northern California. In fact, Sarah's wedding ring was made from a nugget of California gold. With money gained from the gold rush, Joshua was able to purchase this home and the Taylor Farm where he and Sarah raised their two daughters, Alice and Bertha. Joshua Van Hoosen was considered to be a bit progressive for the era because he sent his daughters to college. They were among the first female graduates from the University of Michigan in the late 1800s. Alice was a teacher of Greek and Latin until she married Joseph Comstock Jones. Bertha, on the other hand, never married and shocked her family by pursuing a career in medicine, an uncommon field of study for women in the late 19th century. During her 61-year career, she traveled the world lecturing at universities and hospitals and demonstrating the medical techniques that she had developed and perfected. For instance, she developed an anesthesia called scopolamine morphine for use during childbirth. She was the first to perform the buttonhole appendectomy. She founded the American Medical Women's Association, and she pioneered the use of sterile conditions during surgery. It had never been done before. <laughs> Meanwhile, brother-in-law Joseph and sister Alice gave birth to Sarah Van Hoosen Jones in 1892. She is the next in a long line of remarkable women. Her love of the land and of her ancestral heritage led her to a successful career in agriculture and dairy management. In 1916, she earned a master's degree in animal husbandry, followed in 1921 by a doctorate in animal genetics from the University of Wisconsin. With Sarah in charge, the Van Hoosen Farm was the most productive dairy farm in southeastern Michigan throughout the 1930s and 40s. It was the first farm in southeastern Michigan to produce certified milk. Sarah received national recognition in 1932 when she was named a master farmer. At that time, she was one of only two women in the United States to hold this title. She was the first woman in the United States to be named a premier breeder of Holstein cattle, which she accomplished for nine years. During its heyday, the Van Hoosen Dairy Farm was considered a giant, well-respected throughout the dairy industry for milk production, the breeding of Holstein cattle, and for its contributions to the field of agriculture and example of leadership. Upon retiring from farming in 1952, Sarah Van Hoosen Jones donated her cherished home and farm to Michigan State University for use as a training farm for future farmers. In 1979, 
The Van Hoosen Farmhouse was returned to our community as a gift from Michigan State University. And by the summer of 1989, the farm buildings and nine additional acres had come under the ownership of the city of Rochester Hills. Today, the 1840 Van Hoosen Farmhouse retains many of the original antiques and stands as a lasting memorial to the contributions and achievements of the Taylor Van Hoosen families. And right next door, the 1850 Red House captures life of tenant farmers living a simple existence in a small rural village. The Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm is a shining example of how life once was in this corner of the world. It is the primary site for learning about and preserving the history of the greater Rochester area in Oakland County as a representative of similar communities throughout Michigan. For over 25 years, the Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm has preserved our community's past. It has interpreted the rich history of our regional community. It has preserved the Van Hoosen Farm and several surrounding buildings in Stony Creek Village and seeks to inspire visitors with a sense of the past. The museum and grounds are one of Michigan's state registered historic sites and can be found on the National Register of Historic Places. Enjoy your visit by allowing yourself to go back to the past and letting the knowledge, the hard work, and the varied experiences of our ancestors into your life. If you allow it, history can show you the very best of our humanity, the very best of ourselves. It will give you faith in our fellow man, hope for our future, and a wonderful illumination of your daily life. And it's all right here at the Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm. Because appreciation of the present is enhanced by understanding the past, the Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm interprets, preserves, and collects the history of the greater Rochester area for present and future generations. The Rochester Hills Museum at Van Hoosen Farm. We're history. 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 We're history.